these five on Xandar. Check out the rap sheets. Running Butcher. AKA the Destroyer. Since his wife and family were killed, he's been on a rampage across the galaxy in a search for vengeance. Soldier, assassin, wanted on over a dozen counts of murder. Wanted on over 50 charges of vehicular theft and escape from lockup. What the hell? I want you to hit me as hard as you can. Oh my. Welcome, Agent. To the butcher land. Can't touch any insanity. Can't touch this. Can't touch this. If you will not subscribe, I will find serious trauma. Hello, beautiful and amazing people. Bad Best Dark Zone Agent Butcher in the building as usual with another crazy Division 2 build video. And in general, if you want to be updated, all the best PvP PV builds, you know what you have to do. Hit that like, subscribe. And share this video or leave a hateful comment it really depends on your preference but any engagement will help me a lot because today I have for you something really really special one of the best armor regen builds of course I'm talking about the Ridge Waste exotic pride chest piece combo with foundry bulwark set that's absolutely ridiculous and if you're gonna pair it up with eagle barrel with the tenacity buff which is Nasty! You're gonna destroy whole servers with this build. Don't forget that we have ridiculous damage and my second gun or I would say my primary gun is Vector with 1200 RPM and say this talent on. Guys, say this is amplified weapon damage. That by far the best weapon damage talent in the game right now. And I'm running Wicked, but Armor Regen here is key. Also, Bulwark set will provide you with 10% bonus armor. That will actually allow you to use one more offensive core attribute. If you're gonna run with three offensive core attributes and three armor core attributes, you will have 1.4 mil armor in total. So pretty dope, guys. And you have ridiculous synergy with your shield as well. I know, I know, I know. One more shield build, but hey, you have regen and bulwark works really well with your shield because it will give your shield extra health back and in long run it helps a lot. But before we continue, I just wanna let you know that we have some sponsor ads. And guys, if you don't have enough time for good teammates, but you still want to have all the best items in your game then beaming.net is set for you they have absolutely amazing team on consoles they will complete your order twice as fast now everything happens with account sharing this service has been working for many many years it has tons of custom reviews you can check everything by yourself but now with my promo code RBD you will have 15% discount on all servers. It's an amazing deal, especially when right now this site supports Outriders. I will leave a link down below in my description. You can contact them through the WhatsApp basically immediately. But now let's get back to my Bulwark build. This one is absolutely overpowered because actually we have more than 170% crit damage in this build. I will repeat myself one more time in case you didn't catch that. We have more than 170% crit damage on armor regen set. Absolutely ridiculous. Don't forget, it will be amplified by say this talent. And of course, I'm running Wicked because come on, man. By this time, you should know that Wicked and Ridge Race Exotic Pride Chess Piece are absolutely one of the best combos in the game. It works so damn good. You don't have to invent the wheel here. Just use say this and Wicked and you will ready to go but crit damage boost is outstanding and we are using SMG class here Vector with 1200 RPM it hits like a truck it works so damn good on PC on consoles maybe I would recommend you to use Benchy or Ampex with slower, slower rate of fire but that will give you some room for errors 
so I think that those SMGs would work a little bit better on consoles, but if you play on PC, Vector should be your main weapon. That fire rate is absolutely ridiculous, and if you can nail your headshots, that the game over. My aim is terrible, man. <laughs> I have potato aim. Most likely you shoot better than me, so I think Vector should be your main gun because second gun is our exotic assault rifle eagle and we are using that for headshot damage and tenacity buff once you will activate the tenacity buff again game over you will be walking machine walking tank nobody gonna get to you and since we have 1.6 million armor here that means that this build will work really nice and easy i know we have a lot of glass cannon type of builds but when you're gonna fight servers you need survivability and this build will provide you with that because bulwark goes with armor regen as well rejoice exotic bright chest piece will give you three percent armor regen only from one target and you have 20 percent regen on your shield and health in 15 seconds from bulwark so in total you have really nice survivability and if you want to be in Butcher family, hit that like, subscribe. So without further ado, let's get into it. For specialization, of course, we are using Firewall because the reasons, guys, flamethrower. Flamethrower is freaking overpowered. I'm so exhausted to say this in each my Oh, Jesus Christ. Sorry. Flamethrower is really overpowered. You're gonna one tap people with this shit easily. And Medkit is amazing with Armor Regen build. I would say Medkit is the main reason why we are using Firewall Specialization. We have 1.6 million armor and that alone tells us that Medkit will work ridiculously well because we're gonna receive Armor Regen for 10 seconds. And of course Striker Shield will have more health and it will give us damage boost from Firewall Specialization. My main weapon is Vector with Sadist. Vector has one of the best fire rates in the game, 1200 RPM with Sadist, it will hit like a truck and if you're gonna nail your headshots, the game over. My aim is terrible, most likely you're gonna play much better with this gun than I do, but if you play on consoles, I would recommend you to use maybe MPX or Benchy SMGs, those are pretty dope as well, and MP7 is really nice rate of fire and base damage value so you have a lot of options here but if you want to reach maximum damage vector is way to go but second gun is exotic assault rifle eagle and as you saw right now i received the CP buff and basically i can face tank people without shield that reduce damage is absolutely ridiculous guys eagle is really strong and again if you have really nice aim you should use this weapon, it has headshot damage boost as well, unfortunately it's raid exclusive, but from other hand, we still didn't receive any new content whatsoever, so do a couple raid runs, and if you don't have squad to do it, hit me up on Xbox, I will help you to get this gun, because it's pretty dope, dope looking, and it's must have in PvP, so definitely try to get this weapon. Assault rifles are pretty strong in this game, but for pistol I'm running orbit, perfect initial talent, everything really simple here. You have to kill somebody or finish somebody with this pistol, then switch to your main weapon and you will receive crit damage and crit chance boost. But we don't really need crit chance in this set. For gear I'm running 4 piece from Bulwark, guys Bulwark is really really strong in PvP and PV because it will provide us with 10% bonus armor and that alone can allow you to use 3 armor core attributes and 3 offensive core attributes and you will have 1.4 mil armor but since we are using armor regen this attribute will work the best if you have more armor and we have 1.6 million armor with 2 offensive core attributes and 4 armor core attributes so that 1% armor regen from bulwark alone will give us much more armor back the same story with full branched bonus where we will receive 20% armor back in 15 seconds but we will receive 
our shield held back as well so pretty dope synergy with firewall speed sensation because we are gonna use striker shield that will increase our damage and of course you have mods to striker shield which will increase it held the best and you can apply those mods only from firewall specialization and like i told you before rigwise exotic right chest piece will give you three percent armor regen only from one bleeding enemy and you're gonna apply bleed effect with the chest piece left right and center and again regen will work much better with bulwark because we have 1.6 million armor but if you're wondering how good numbers I have on this build, I have more than 170% crit damage. And as you see, I'm running all crit damage mods on my vector. If I will replace one crit damage mod, I will immediately have 53% crit chance and I will still have 170% crit damage boost guys because on vector or in general you have only 5% crit damage mods or attachments on your weapon only 5% so crit chance mods are much more beneficial on the weapons because 5% crit chance is much better than 5% crit damage that's simply how it is in the game for chest piece so I'm running regress pride and for backpack I'm running sombra with wicket guys if you have Sokolo's chest piece you could use Sokolo but Sombra will give me damage boost on my assault rifle as well for boulevard guys pieces I would recommend you to use everywhere crit damage because crit chance is not a problem as you see so your priority should be crit damage everywhere for skills striker shield and for second you could use stinger 5 it gives or it brings some fear factor so maybe a lot of people will be afraid from it and run away so you could use that maybe seeker mine it will apply bleed effect as well or defender drone i really love defender drone it will reduce damage i have armor regen survivability is really not a problem in this build and you have ridiculous damage guys as well enjoy in my eyes this is one of the best boulevard drills in the game right now Thank you for watching, Butcher Drops the Mic, see you in the next one.